Hello everyone, today our topic is how to add Razor Pay payment detail in Google Sheets for different payment modes. So whenever we get a new payment in Razor Pay through any different payment mode, we want these details to add in our Google Sheet in a particular sheet for that specific different payment mode. For example, if we get a payment through UPI, we want these details to add in that specific sheet for UPI payments. For that, we are going to create an integration between Razor Pay and Google Sheet. For creating this integration, we are going to use Pabli Connect. Pabli Connect is an amazing software for automation and integration. In Pabli Connect, we are going to use triggers and action. In trigger application, we will be using Razor Pay. In action application, we will be using Google Sheet. How I'm going to create this integration? For that, let me take you to my computer screen. I hope all you can see my computer screen. And today we have Razor Pay and Google Sheets. So this is my Razor Pay account. And this is my Google Sheets. I have two sheets here, card and UPI. Today our objective is that we need to add the payment details of all the purchases in Razor Pay in our Google Sheets and we will also differentiate the payment methods and add the details in respective spreadsheets. So if anyone do payments from any banking services in Razor Pay, I want their details to add in their respective spreadsheets. For that, I'm going to create an integration between Razor Pay and Google Sheets. For creating this integration, I will open a new tab and search for pabli.com. And this will take me to this landing page of Pabli. Here we have two options, sign in and sign up for free. If you don't have any account with Pabli Connect, you can just sign up for free and it will take only two minutes of your time and you will get hundreds of tasks free every month. If you already have an account with Pabli Connect, you can just sign in and you will see this page. So these are the tools that Pabli offers and we are going to use Pabli Connect here. So I will click here on access now button under Pabli Connect and this will take me to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. This is the workflow section and I can see all my workflows that I will create here. This is the folder section and I can create new folders and save my workflows in any particular folder that I want. Now we are going to create a workflow. For that, I will click here on the create workflow button and this window will pop up. Here, I will name my workflow. I will name it as my objective, which is add Razor Pay payment details in Google Sheets. Here, I will select the folder that I want to save my workflow in. I will select home and I will click on create. And this will take me to this most important window of my workflow. Here, we have two boxes. First is trigger, second is action. Trigger says, when this happens, action says, do this. So whenever our trigger will get executed, action will follow that. Now we will first set up our trigger and our trigger application will be Razor Pay. So I will search Razor Pay. I click here on Razor Pay. Now I have to give a trigger event. For that, I'll open this tab and search for my trigger event, which is payment capture. So whenever a new payment will be captured in my Razor Pay account, it will work as a trigger event for me. Now that we can see this is the web URL and I will connect my Razor Pay account with Pabli Connect using web URL. If you have any doubt, you can just go through these instructions and follow this step and you will connect your Razor Pay account with Pabli Connect. I will copy this link and I will go back to Razor Pay account. Here I will go to accounts and settings. Now I will go to web books. I'll click on add new web book. I'll paste my web book link here and I will select the active events, which is payment capture. And I will click on create web book. So my account is connected successfully through web books. I will go back to public connect. And here it says, now log into the application where you have added the Webbook URL and do the test submission record so that the data can be recorded here in the Webbook response. So we want the Webbook response here. For that, I will do a test submission. I will go back to Razor Pay. I will go to the payment pages. I will find my product, which is PHP programming course. I'll copy this link and open this link in the new tab. Now for getting the response, I will do the test submission. So I will fill the dummy details here. I'll select my course, which is PHP programming course. I'll give the first name. 
my first name will be test. Now my last name will be user. I will give a email test user at the rate pabritoots.com and I will give a random phone number. I click on pay. Now we'll select the payment method that I will use. So I will use the card. I'll give a random card number, a random expiry number and card holder's name which will be test user and a random CVV. I'll click on pay now. So this is my test OTP. And my payment is successful. Now we'll go back to Public Connect. And here we will see, we got this response. Here, our phone number is this. Last name is user. First name is test. And the email address is test user at the rate pablitoots.com. Our course is PHP programming course and our payment entity method is card. So these are the, all the details that we have in our response. Now what we're going to do is we are going to add these details in Google Sheets and we are going to differentiate it through the payment methods. For that we are going to use router so that we can differentiate the payment methods such as cards, net banking, UPI and other banking services. So we will differentiate all these details accordingly and we will add different spreadsheets in my Google Sheets. For that, I'm going to set up action and I will open this and search for my action which is router. Here I'm going to rename these. I'll rename this as card and the other one as UPI. So for all the card payments, I want these details to add in a particular sheet which is card and for all the UPI payments, I want these details to add in a particular sheet, which is UPI. Now we we'll set up my filter and action staff for card. I will give my label as payment entity method and my filter type will be equal to and my value will be card. So I have set up a filter in which if the payment method is card, then the condition will be true and we will move forward with my action step or else it will look for other condition. Now we'll click on save and send test circuit button. And here my condition is true. So I will set up my action. And my action application will be Google Sheets. I will search for Google Sheets. I'll give an action event which will be add new row. I'll connect. I click on add new connection. I will sign in with Google. I will allow this to give access to my account. My account is successfully connected. Now I will go back to my Google Sheets. And here I have five columns, first name, last name, email, phone number and course. And the name of my spreadsheet is Razor Pay Payments. And this is the sheet which is card. And for the other sheet, we have the same details and the sheet name is UPI. We will map all these details in Public Connect. I will go back to Public Connect. I will select the spreadsheet which is Razor Pay Payments and my sheet is card. We are selecting this sheet for the card payments. We are mapping all these details from the Webhook response that we got earlier in our trigger. So. Whenever we will get a new response, these details will get exchanged and we will get the new details in the real time. So I will map the first name first. Similarly, the last name, email address, phone number and the course. So I have mapped all these details. Now we click on save and send test request button. And here we have some response. So I will go back to my Google Sheets. So here we can see we found these new details here. So our first name is test, last name is user, email is testuser at the rate pabritoots.com and the random phone number and the course is PHP programming course. So we got these details in the card sheet. So for all the card payments, we are getting the new details in this sheet. Similarly, we will set this up for the UPI payments. So for that, we will go back to Public Connect. I will close this and now we'll set up the filter for UPI. 
I will select the same label, which is payment entity method. Filter type will be equal to, but in the value section, I will put UPI. I will click on save and send test request button. And here we can see the condition is false. So we will set up action now. So my action application is Google Sheets. Action event will be add new row. I will connect my account. I will use the existing account. So I will click on save. Here I will select the sheet as UPI because we are using this for the UPI payments. And similarly, I will map all these details. First name, last name, email, phone number, and the course. And I will click on save. Now to check this, whether we are getting the details in the UPI sheet for UPI payments or not, I will make a test payment for the same product using UPI. So I will open that link again. Here I will put the new dummy details. My course will be PHP programming course. My first name will be new. Last name will be person. Email will be new person at the rate pabletrits.com and a random phone number. I click on pay. And now I will select the payment method as UPI. I will give a random UPI number. I click on pay. And my payment is successful. So I will go back to Public Connect. I will refresh this. Now I will go to my Google Sheets to check whether we get these details in the UPI sheet or not. I will open my Google Sheets. I will open the UPI sheet. And here we can see we have this new detail. First name is new, last name is person, email is newperson at the rate pavlitudes.com and the random phone number. And we have the course, PHP programming course. So we got this detail for the UPI in the UPI sheet and we are getting the card payment details in the card sheet. So our integration is working successfully and we have differentiated the payment details according to their payment methods. And let's go back to Public Connect. And let's summarize what we did here. We first set up our trigger and our trigger application was RazorPay and our trigger event was payment capture. So whenever we are getting a new payment in RazorPay, it was working as a trigger event and we were capturing that pay payment. Then we set up our action. In action, we used router by Pabli. And in router, we used two conditions. First was card, second was UPI. So in card, we set up the action so whenever we are getting a payment through card method, their details are getting automatically added in the spreadsheet in the sheet name card. And similarly, we use the UPI and we set up the filter for the UPI method and any payment that was capturing through UPI, we were adding their details in the spreadsheet and the particular sheet was UPI. So our workflow is working successfully. And you can also create this workflow by following all the steps that I did in my workflow. And I will give the link of this workflow in my description. Thank you. Not just these applications. You can automate and integrate a lot more applications like this using Pabli Connect. If you need any help or if you have any doubt, you can email us at support at the If you have any queries, you can post them at forum.pabli.com. Or if you have any issue with the pricing of Pabli, you can connect on this link. And if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.